Hi, this is Donald Sabales with Energy Vanguard, and I want to draw your attention to something over my head. In the ceiling above me is a vent. It's a little round vent. It is not far, part of the heating and cooling system. It is part of getting good indoor air quality in this house. This is my house, and we have a ventilation system now. Houses need to be as airtight as possible. No, a house does not need to breathe. That's the title of my book. And we want outdoor air coming in through controlled means, and that is with a ventilation system that will bring outdoor air in and distribute it throughout the house. That's what we have right here. Here's a really special thing about this ventilation system, though. This air is coming in at close to room temperature because it's going through this thing called an energy recovery ventilator, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, here is where the magic happens in our ventilation system. This is called an energy recovery ventilator. We have outdoor air coming in through this duct right here, and it goes through a heat exchange, heat and moisture exchanger inside here. I'll show you that in a minute. And after picking up heat from the house, it goes through this part of the system and gets distributed and comes out of that vent that I showed you upstairs. On the back side, there are two other ducts. The big one back here is exhausting all the, the air that it's pulling out of the house to the outside. And on the back side is where all the different air streams that are coming from the extract vents in the house come into the system to give up their heat to the outdoor air that is coming in. It's a pretty cool system. Let's take a look at the inside of it and see how it works. Inside that machine that you saw me standing in front of now is what you see here. This is the core of the system. It's a heat exchanger and a moisture exchanger. There are two air streams. On the top right, you see the outdoor air coming in. If you follow that arrow down, it changes color because that represents it getting warmer with the heat exchange. And on the top left, you see the extract air. That's the air from the house being pulled into the system and then sent to the outdoors. The heat and moisture exchange happens inside that core. So here's some actual data. On a 35 degree morning, the outdoor air was coming into the ventilation machine, picking up heat from the outgoing air and being delivered to my house at 64 degrees instead of 35 degrees. So almost a 30 degree temperature rise just because of this heat exchange happening inside my Zender energy recovery ventilator. A great, great way to get ventilation air, improve your indoor air quality, and be comfortable inside your house as well. For those of you who do Celsius, which is most of the world, here are the Celsius numbers for that same day.